Uttarakhand, formerly known as Uttarankal, is a state in the northern part of India. It is often referred to as the Devapumi, literally, land of the gods, due to numerous Hindu temples and pilgrimage centers found throughout the state. Uttarakhand is known for the natural environment of the Himalayas, the Babar and the Terai. On 9 November 2000, Uttarakhand became the 27th state of the Republic of India, being carved from the Himalayan districts of Uttar Pradesh. It borders Tibet Autonomous Region of China to the north, the Sudarpashchim Pradesh of Nepal to the east, the Indian states of Uttar Pradesh to the south and Himachal Pradesh to the west and northwest. The state is divided into two divisions, Garhwal and Kumaon, with a total of 13 districts. The capital of Uttarakhand is Dehradun, the largest city of the state, which is a railhead. The High Court of the state is located in Nainital. Archaeological evidence supports the existence of humans in the region since prehistoric times. The region formed a part of the Uttarakuru Kingdom during the Vedic Age of Ancient India. Among the first major dynasties of Kumaon were the Kunindas in the 2nd century BCE who practiced an early form of Shaivism. Ashokan edicts at Kalsi show the early presence of Buddhism in this region. During the medieval period, the region was consolidated under the Kumaon Kingdom and Garhwal Kingdom. In 1816, most of modern Uttarakhand was ceded to the British as part of the Treaty of Sugauli. Although the erstwhile hill kingdoms of Garhwal and Kumaon were traditional rivals, the proximity of different neighboring ethnic groups and the inseparable and complementary nature of their geography, economy, culture, language, and traditions created strong bonds between the two regions which further strengthened during the Uttarakhand movement for statehood in the 1990s. The natives of the state are generally called Uttarakhandi, or more specifically either Garhwali or Kumaoni by their region of origin. According to the 2011 Census of India, Uttarakhand has a population of 10,086,292, making it the 20th most populous state in India. Topic. Etymology. Uttarakhand's name is derived from the Sanskrit words Uttara, Uttara meaning north, and Kanda, Kanda meaning land, altogether simply meaning northern land. The name finds mention in early Hindu scriptures as the combined region of Kadakhand, present-day Garhwal, and Manaskand, present-day Kumaon. Uttarakhand was also the ancient Puranic Puranika term for the central stretch of the Indian Himalayas, however, the region was given the name Uttarankal by the Bharatiya Janata Party-led Union Government and Uttarakhand State Government when they started a new round of state reorganization in 1998. Chosen for its allegedly less separatist connotations, the name change generated enormous controversy among many activists for a separate state who saw it as a political act. The name Uttarakhand remained popular in the region, even while Uttarankal was promulgated through official usage. In August 2006, Union Council of Ministers assented to the demands of the Uttarankal Legislative Assembly and leading members of the Uttarakhand statehood movement to rename Uttarankal state as Uttarakhand. Legislation to that effect was passed by the Uttarankal Legislative Assembly in October 2006, and the Union Council of Ministers brought in the bill in the winter session of Parliament. The bill was passed by Parliament and signed into law by then President APJ Abdul Kalam in December 2006, and since 1 January 2007 the state has been known as Uttarakhand. History Ancient rock paintings, rock shelters, Paleolithic stone tools, hundreds of thousands of years old, and megaliths provide evidence that the mountains of the region have been inhabited since prehistoric times. There are also archaeological remains which show the existence of early Vedic c. 1500 BCE, practices in the area. 
the Pauravas, Khasas, Karatas, Nandas, Mauryas, Kushana, Kunindas, Guptas, Karkotas, Pallas, Gurjara Pratiharas, Kachuris, Rikas, Chans, Palmars or Panwars, Malas, Shahs and the British have ruled Uttarakhand in turns, it is believed that the sage Vyasa scripted the Hindu epic Mahabharata in the state. Among the first major dynasties of Garhwal and Kumaon were the Kunindas in the 2nd century BCE who practiced an early form of Shaivism and traded salt with western Tibet. It is evident from the Ashokan Edict at Kalsi in western Garhwal that Buddhism made inroads in this region. Folk Hindu shamanic practices deviating from Hindu orthodoxy also persisted here. However, Garhwal and Kumaon were restored to nominal Vedic Hindu rule due to the travels of Shankaracharya and the arrival of migrants from the plains. Between the 4th and 14th centuries, the Kachuri dynasty dominated lands of varying extent from the Kachur Valley modern-day Bainath in Kumaon. The historically significant temples at Jageshwar are believed to have been built by the Kachuris and later remodeled by the Chans. Other peoples of the Tibeto-Burman group known as Karata are thought to have settled in the northern highlands as well as in pockets throughout the region, and are believed to be ancestors of the modern-day Bhatia, Raji, Jad, and Banraut people. By the medieval period, the region was consolidated under the Garhwal Kingdom in the west and the Kumaon Kingdom in the east. During this period, learning and new forms of painting, the Pahari School of Art, developed. Modern-day Garhwal was likewise unified under the rule of Parmars who, along with many Brahmins and Rajputs, also arrived from the plains. In 1791, the expanding Gorkha Empire of Nepal overran Almora, the seat of the Kumaon Kingdom. It was annexed to Kingdom of Nepal by Amar Singh Tapa. In 1803, the Garhwal Kingdom also fell to the Gurkhas. After the Anglo-Nepalese War, this region was ceded to the British as part of the Treaty of Sugauli. The Garhwal Kingdom was then re-established from a smaller region in Terry. After India attained independence from the British, the Garhwal Kingdom was merged into the state of Uttar Pradesh, where Uttarakhand composed the Garhwal and Kumaon divisions. Until 1998, Uttarakhand was the name most commonly used to refer to the region, as various political groups, including the Uttarakhand Kranti Dal, Uttarakhand Revolutionary Party, began agitating for separate statehood under its banner. Although the erstwhile hill kingdoms of Garhwal and Kumaon were traditional rivals the inseparable and complementary nature of their geography, economy, culture, language, and traditions created strong bonds between the two regions. These bonds formed the basis of the new political identity of Uttarakhand, which gained significant momentum in 1994, when demand for separate statehood achieved almost unanimous acceptance among both the local populace and national political parties. The most notable incident during this period was the Rampur Tiraha firing case on the night of 1 October 1994, which led to a public uproar. On 24 September 1998, the Uttar Pradesh Legislative Assembly and Uttar Pradesh Legislative Council passed the Uttar Pradesh Reorganization Bill, which began the process of forming a new state. Two years later the Parliament of India passed the Uttar Pradesh Reorganization Act, 2000 and thus, on 9 November 2000, Uttarakhand became the 27th state of the Republic of India. Uttarakhand is also well known for the mass agitation of the 1970s that led to the formation of the Chipko environmental movement and other social movements. Though primarily a livelihood movement rather than a forest conservation movement, it went on to become a rallying point for many future environmentalists, environmental protests, and movements the world over and created a precedent for nonviolent protest. It stirred up the existing civil society in India, which began to address the issues of tribal and marginalized people. So much so that, a quarter of a century later, India today mentioned the people behind the forest satyagraha of the Chipko movement as amongst 100 people who shaped India. One of Chipko's most salient features was the mass participation of female villages. 
Both female and male activists played pivotal roles in the movement. Gaurav Devi was the main activist who started this movement. Other participants were Chandi Prasad Bhatt, Sundal Bahuguna, and Gansham Rachuri, the popular Chitko poet. Topic. Geography Uttarakhand has a total area of 53,483 square kilometres, of which 86% is mountainous and 65% is covered by forest. Most of the northern part of the state is covered by high Himalayan peaks and glaciers. In the first half of the 19th century, the expanding development of Indian roads, railways and other physical infrastructure was giving rise to concerns over indiscriminate logging, particularly in the Himalaya. Two of the most important rivers in Hinduism originate in the glaciers of Uttarakhand, the Ganges at Gangorti and the Yamuna at Yamunotri. They are fed by myriad lakes, glacial melts and streams. These two along with Badrinath and Kadarnath form the Chota Cha Dham, a holy pilgrimage for the Hindus. The state hosts the Bengal Tiger in Jim Corbett National Park, the oldest national park of the Indian subcontinent. The Valley of Flowers, a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the upper expanses of Bundar Ganga near Joshamuth in Garhwal region, is known for the variety and rarity of its flowers and plants. One who raised this was Sir Joseph Dalton Hooker, director of the Royal Botanic Gardens, Kew, who visited the region. As a consequence, Lord Dalhousie issued the Indian Forest Charter in 1855, reversing the previous laissez-faire policy. The following Indian Forest Act of 1878 put Indian forestry on a solid scientific basis. A direct consequence was the founding of the Imperial Forest School at Dehradun by Dietrich Brandis in 1878. Renamed the Imperial Forest Research Institute in 1906, it is now known as the Forest Research Institute. The model, forest circles, around Dehradun, used for training, demonstration and scientific measurements, had a lasting positive influence on the forests and ecology of the region. The Himalayan ecosystem provides habitat for many animals, including baral, snow leopards, leopards and tigers, plants, and rare herbs. Uttarakhand lies on the southern slope of the Himalaya range, and the climate and vegetation vary greatly with elevation, from glaciers at the highest elevations to subtropical forests at the lower elevations. The highest elevations are covered by ice and bare rock. Below them, between 3,000 and 5,000 meters (9,800 and 16,400 feet) are the Western Himalayan alpine shrub and meadows. The temperate Western Himalayan subalpine conifer forests grow just below the tree line. At 3,000 to 2,600 meters (9,800 to 8,500 feet) elevation, they transition to the temperate Western Himalayan broadleaf forests, which lie in a belt from 2,600 to 1,500 meters (8,500 to 4,900 feet) elevation. Below 1,500 meters (4,900 feet) elevation lie the Himalayan subtropical pine forests. The upper Gangetic Plains moist deciduous forests and the drier Terai Duar savanna and grasslands cover the lowlands along the Uttar Pradesh border in a belt locally known as Babar. These lowland forests have mostly been cleared for agriculture, but a few pockets remain. In June 2013, several days of extremely heavy rain caused devastating floods in the region, resulting in more than 5,000 people missing and presumed dead. The flooding was referred to in the Indian media as a Himalayan tsunami. Topic: Demographics. The native people of Uttarakhand are generally called Uttarakhandi and sometimes specifically either Garhwali or Kumaoni depending on their place of origin in either the Garhwal or Kumaon region. 
According to the 2011 Census of India, Uttarakhand has a population of 10,086,292 comprising 5,137,773 males and 4,948,519 females, with 69.77% of the population living in rural areas. The state is the 20th most populous state of the country having 0.83% of the population on 1.63% of the land. The population density of the state is 189 people per square kilometre having a 2001-2011 decadal growth rate of 18.81%. The gender ratio is 963 females per 1,000 males. The crude birth rate in the state is 18.6 with the total fertility rate being 2.3. The state has an infant mortality rate of 43, a maternal mortality rate of 188 and a crude death rate of 6.6. <laughs> Ethnic groups Uttarakhand has a multi-ethnic population spread across two geocultural regions, the Garhwal, and the Kumaon. A large portion of the population is Rajput various clans of erstwhile landowning rulers and their descendants, including members of the native Garhwali, and Kumaoni as well as a number of immigrants. According to a 2007 study by Center for the Study of Developing Societies, Uttarakhand has the highest percentage of Brahmins of any state in India, with approximately 20% of the population being Brahmin. 18.76% of the population belongs to the scheduled castes, an official term for the indigenous Aboriginal lower castes in the traditional caste system in India. Scheduled tribes such as the Jaunzari, Bhatia, Tharu, Buxa, Raji, Jad and Banraut constitute 2.89% of the population. Languages <inaudible> 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 Hindi belonging to the Indo-Aryan languages is the official language of Uttarakhand and is spoken by 89.15% of the population 2011 census of India figures include Garhwali spoken by 23.03%, Kumaoni spoken by 19.94% and Jaunzari spoken by 1.35% of the population as variants of Hindi, Sanskrit is given the status of second official language. Garhwali and Kumaoni are endangered languages listed by UNESCO. Apart from Hindi, Urdu is the second most spoken language with 4.22% speakers followed by Punjabi 2.61%, Bengali 1.50%, Nepali 1.05% and Maithili. Figures include Tharu as a variant of Maithili by 0.54% speakers. Many Tibeto-Burman languages are also spoken in this region including Rongpo, Raji, Byangzi, Shordangzi, Dharmia, Rawit and Jad. Topic: Religion. More than four fifths of Uttarakhand's residents are Hindus. Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, Buddhists, and Jains make up the remaining population, with the Muslims being the largest minority. Topic. Government and politics Following the Constitution of India, Uttarakhand, like all Indian states, has a parliamentary system of representative democracy for its government. The governor is the constitutional and formal head of the government and is appointed for a five-year term by the President of India on the advice of the Union government. The present governor of Uttarakhand is Baby Rani Maurya. The chief minister, who holds the real executive powers, is the head of the party or coalition garnering the majority in the state elections. The current chief minister of Uttarakhand is Trivendra Singh Rawat. The unicameral Uttarakhand Legislative Assembly consists of 71 members, known as members of the Legislative Assembly or MLAs, and special office bearers such as the Speaker and Deputy Speaker, elected by the members. 
assembly meetings are presided over by the Speaker, or the Deputy Speaker in the Speaker's absence. The Uttarakhand Council of Ministers is appointed by the Governor of Uttarakhand on the advice of the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand and reports to the Legislative Assembly. Leader of the Opposition leads the official opposition in the Legislative Assembly. Auxiliary authorities that govern at a local level are known as Gram Panchayats in rural areas, municipalities in urban areas and municipal corporations in metro areas. All state and local government offices have a five-year term. The state also elects five members to Lok Sabha and three seats to Raja Sabha of the Parliament of India. The judiciary consists of the Uttarakhand High Court, located at Nainital, and a system of lower courts. The incumbent Chief Justice of Uttarakhand is Justice Ramesh Ranganathan. Politics in Uttarakhand is dominated by the Indian National Congress and the Bharatiya Janata Party. Since the formation of the state these two parties have ruled the state in turns. Following the hung mandate in the 2012 Uttarakhand Legislative Assembly election, the Indian National Congress, having the maximum number of seats, formed a coalition government headed by Harish Rawat that collapsed on 27 March 2016. Following the political turmoil as about nine MLAs of Inc. rebelled against the party and supported the opposition party BJP, causing Harish Rawat government to lose the majority in Assembly. However, on 21 April 2016 the High Court of Uttarakhand quashed the President's rule questioning its legality and maintained a status quo prior to 27 March 2016 when nine rebel MLAs of Inc. voted against the Harish Rawat government in Assembly on State's Money Appropriation Bill. On the 22nd of April 2016 the Supreme Court of India stayed the order of High Court till the 27th of April 2016 thereby once again reviving the president's rule In later developments regarding this matter the Supreme Court ordered a floor test to be held on the 10th of May with the rebels being barred from voting on the 11th of May at the opening of sealed result of the floor test, under the supervision of Supreme Court, the Harish Rawat government was revived following the victory in floor test held in Uttarakhand Legislative Assembly. Following the 2017 Legislative Assembly election, on 18 March 2017 Trivendra Singh Rawat sworn as the 8th Chief Minister of Uttarakhand for the 4th Uttarakhand Legislative Assembly 2017-22. Topic. Subdivisions There are 13 districts in Uttarakhand which are grouped into two divisions, Kumaon and Garwal. Four new districts named Didihat, Kotwal Ranakhet, and Yamunotri were declared by then Chief Minister of Uttarakhand, Ramesh Pokhrel, on 15 August 2011 but yet to be officially formed. Each district is governed by a district magistrate. The districts are further divided into subdivisions, which are governed by subdivisional magistrates. Subdivisions comprise blocks containing panchayats, village councils, and town municipalities. According to the 2011 census, Haridwar, Dehradun, and Udham Singh Nagar are the most populous districts, each of them having a population of over 1 million. Topic. Culture Topic Architecture and Crafts Among the prominent local crafts is wood carving, which appears most frequently in the ornately decorated temples of Uttarakhand. Intricately carved designs of floral patterns, deities, and geometrical motifs also decorate the doors, windows, ceilings, and walls of village houses. Paintings and murals are used to decorate both homes and temples. Pahari painting is a form of painting that flourished in the region between the 17th and 19th century. Mola Ram started the Garwal branch of the Kangra School of Painting. Gula State was known as the cradle of Kangra paintings. Kumaroni art often is geometrical in nature, while Garwali art is known for its closeness to nature. 
Other crafts of Uttarakhand include handcrafted gold jewellery, basketry from garwal, woolen shawls, scarves, and rugs. The latter are mainly produced by the Botius of northern Uttarakhand. Arts and literature Uttarakhand's diverse ethnicities have created a rich literary tradition in languages including Hindi, Garhwali, Kumaoni, Jaunsari, and Tharu. Many of its traditional tales originated in the form of lyrical ballads and chanted by itinerant singers and are now considered classics of Hindi literature. Abhor Bandu Bahuguna, Badri Dat Pandi, Ganga Prasad Vimal, Harakrishna Rachuri, Mohan Upreti, Naima Khan Upreti, Prasoon Joshi, Shailish Matiyani, Shekhar Joshi, Shivani, Shiv Prasad Dabral, Charan, Taradut Gerala, Tom Alter, Lalit Kala Academy Fellow, Ranbir Singh Bisht, Sangeet Natik Academy Awardees, B. M. Shah, Narendra Singh Negi, Prem Matiyani and Ermal Kumar Thaplayal, Sahitya Academy Awardees, Leeladar Jagudi, Mangdish Dabral, Manohar Shyam Joshi, Ramesh Chandra Shah, Ruskan Bond and Viran Dangwal, Junanfath Awardee and Sahitya Academy Fellow Sumitranandan Pant are some major literary, artistic and theatre personalities from the state. Prominent philosophers, Indian independence activists and social environmental activists, Gaura Devi, Govind Balav Pant, Chandi Prasad Bhatt, Deep Joshi, Kalu Singh Mahara, Makandi Lal, Sri Dev Suman, Sundal Bahuguna and Vandana Shiva are also from Uttarakhand. Cuisine <coughs> 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 The primary food of Uttarakhand is vegetables with wheat being a staple, although non-vegetarian food is also served. A distinctive characteristic of Uttarakhand cuisine is the sparing use of tomatoes, milk, and milk-based products. Coarse grain with high fiber content is very common in Uttarakhand due to the harsh terrain. Crops most commonly associated with Uttarakhand are buckwheat, locally called kotu or kutu, and the regional crops, madua and jangora, particularly in the interior regions of Kumaon and Garhwal. Generally, either desi ghee or mustard oil is used for the purpose of cooking food. Simple recipes are made interesting with the use of hash seeds jakia as spice. Bal matai is a popular fudge-like sweet. Other popular dishes include dabuk, chains, kap, bhatia, fana, palayo, chukkani and say. In sweets, swol, guhut, kaja, arsa, mishri, gata and gulgulays are popular. A regional variation of kadi called jhoi or joli is also popular. Topic. Dances and music The dances of the region are connected to life and human existence and exhibit myriad human emotions. Langvir Naritya is a dance form for males that resembles gymnastic movements. Bharada Nati folk dance is another dance of Jaunsar Bawar, which is practiced during some religious festivals. Other well-known dances include Herka Baal, Jora Chantri, Chapeli, Thadya, Jamila, Pandav, Shofula, and Cholia. Music is an integral part of the Uttarakhandi culture. Popular types of folk songs include Mangal, Basanti, Kuda and Chopati. These folk songs are played on instruments including Dal, Damal, Turi, Ransinga, Dolki, Dor, Tali, Bankora, Mandan and Mashikbaja. Bedu Pako Baro Masa is a popular folk song of Uttarakhand with international fame and legendary status within the state. It serves as the cultural anthem of Uttarakhandi people worldwide. Music is also used as a medium through which the gods are invoked. Jaga is a form of spirit worship in which the singer, or Jagariya, sings a ballad of the gods, with allusions to great epics, like Mahabharat and Ramayana, that describe the adventures and exploits of the god being invoked. 
Basanti Devi Bisht, Chanda Singh Rahi, Girish Tiwari Gurda, Gopal Babu Goswami, Hira Singh Rana, Meena Rana, Narendra Singh Negi and Pritam Bharatwan are popular folk singers and musicians from the state, so is country music singer Bobby Cash. Topic. Fairs and festivals One of the major Hindu pilgrimages, Haridwar Kumbh Mela, takes place in Uttarakhand. Haridwar is one of the four places in India where this Mela is organized. Haridwar most recently hosted the Purna Kumbh Mela from Maka Sankranti, 14 January 2010, to Vaishak Purnima Snan, 28 April 2010. Hundreds of foreigners joined Indian pilgrims in the festival, which is considered the largest religious gathering in the world. Kumauni Holi, in forms including Bathki Holi, Kari Holi, and Mahila Holi, all of which start from Vasant Panchami, are festivals and musical affairs that can last almost a month. Ganga Dashahara, Vasant Panchami, Maka Sankranti, Ghi Sankrant, Katarua, Vat Savitri, and Full Day are other major festivals. In addition, various fairs like Kanwa Yatra, Kandali Festival, Raman, Hela Mela, Kalthik, Noshondi Mela, Gidi Mela, Uttarayani Mela and Nanda Devi Raj Jat Mela take place. Topic. Economy The Uttarakhand state is the second fastest growing state in India. Its gross state domestic product GSDP, at constant prices more than doubled from 24,786 crore rupees in FY2005 to 60,898 crore rupees in FY2012. The real GSDP grew at 13.7% CAGR during the FY2005-FY2012 period. The contribution of the service sector to the GSDP of Uttarakhand was just over 50% during FY 2012. Per capita income in Uttarakhand is 1 rupee, 03, 000, FY 2013, which is higher than the national average of 74,920 rupees, FY 2013. According to the Reserve Bank of India, the total foreign direct investment in the state from April 2000 to October 2009 amounted to US$46.7 million. Like most of India, agriculture is one of the most significant sectors of the economy of Uttarakhand. Basmati rice, wheat, soybeans, groundnuts, coarse cereals, pulses, and oil seeds are the most widely grown crops. Fruits like apples, oranges, pears, peaches, lychees, and plums are widely grown and important to the large food processing industry. Agricultural export zones have been set up in the state for lychees, horticulture, herbs, medicinal plants, and basmati rice. During 2010, wheat production was 831,000 tons and rice production was 610,000 tons, while the main cash crop of the state, sugarcane, had a production of 5,058,000 tons. As 86% of the state consists of hills, the yield per hectare is not very high. 86% of all croplands are in the plains while the remaining is from the hills. Other key industries include tourism and hydropower, and there is prospective development in IT, ITS, biotechnology, pharmaceuticals and automobile industries. The service sector of Uttarakhand mainly includes tourism, information technology, higher education, and banking. During 2005-2006, the state successfully developed three integrated industrial estates (IIEs) at Haridwar, Pantnagar, and Sitarganj, Pharma City at Selakui, Information Technology Park at Sahastradara, Dehradun, and a growth center at Sigadai, Kotwar. Also in 2006, 20 industrial sectors in public-private partnership mode were developed in the state. Topic flora and fauna Uttarakhand has a diversity of flora and fauna. It has a recorded forest area of 34,666 square kilometers which constitutes 65% of the total area of the state. 
Uttarakhand is home to rare species of plants and animals, many of which are protected by sanctuaries and reserves. National parks in Uttarakhand include the Jim Corbett National Park, the oldest national park of India, in Nainital and Pauri Garhwal district, and Valley of Flowers National Park and Nanda Devi National Park in Shamali district, which together are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A number of plant species in the valley are internationally threatened, including several that have not been recorded from elsewhere in Uttarakhand. Rajaji National Park in Haridwar, Dehradun and Pauri Garhwal District and Govind Pashu Vihar National Park and Gangorti National Park in Uttarkashi District are some other protected areas in the state. Leopards are found in areas which are abundant in hills but may also venture into the lowland jungles. Smaller felines include the jungle cat, fishing cat, and leopard cat. Other mammals include four kinds of deer, barking, sambar, hog and cheetal, sloth, brown and Himalayan black bears, Indian grey mongooses, otters, yellow-throated martens, baral, Indian pangolins, and lungur and rhesus monkeys. In the summer, elephants can be seen in herds of several hundred. Marsh crocodiles, Crocodilus palustris, Gariales, Gavialis gangeticus, and other reptiles are also found in the region. Local crocodiles were saved from extinction by captive breeding programs and subsequently re-released into the Ramganga River. Several freshwater terrapins and turtles like the Indian sawback turtle, Kachuga tecta, Brahmani river turtle, Hardella thurgii, and Ganges softshell turtle, Trionyx gangeticus, are found in the rivers. Butterflies and birds of the region include red helen, Papilio helenus, the great eggfly, Hypolumnos balina, common tiger, Danaeus genutia, pale wanderer, Paronia avatar avatar, jungle babbler, tawny bellied babbler, great slaty woodpecker, red breasted parakeet, orange breasted green pigeon, and chestnut winged cuckoo. In 2011, a rare migratory bird, the bean goose, was also seen in the Jim Corbett National Park. A critically endangered bird, last seen in 1876 is the Himalayan quail endemic to the western Himalayas of the state. Evergreen oaks, rhododendrons, and conifers predominate in the hills. Sal, Shoria robusta, silk cotton tree, Bombax ciliata, Dalbergia sisu, Melotus philippensis, Acacia catacu, Bauhinia racemosa, and Bauhinia variegata, camel's foot tree, are some other trees of the region. Albizia chinensis, the sweet sticky flowers of which are favored by sloth bears, are also part of the region's flora. A decade-long study by Professor Chandra Prakash Kala concluded that the Valley of Flowers is endowed with 520 species of higher plants, angiosperms, gymnosperms and pteridophytes, of these 498 are flowering plants. The park has many species of medicinal plants including Dactylorhiza hatagirea, Picroresia curroa, Aconitum violaceum, Polygonatum multiflorum, Fritillaria roile, and Podophyllum hexandrum. In the summer season of 2016, a large portion of forests in Uttarakhand caught fires and rubble to ashes during Uttarakhand forest fires incident which resulted in the damage of forest resources worth billions of rupees and death of six people with hundreds of wild animals died during fires. Topic. Transport. Uttarakhand has 28,508 km of roads, of which 1,328 km are national highways and 1,543 km are state highways. The State Road Transport Corporation SRTC, which has been reorganized in Uttarakhand as the Uttarakhand Transport Corporation UTC, is a major constituent of the transport system in the state. The corporation began to work on 31 October 2003 and provides services on interstate and nationalized routes. As of 2012, approximately 1,000 buses are being plied by the UTC on 35 nationalized routes along with many other non-nationalized routes. There are also private transport operators operating approximately 3,000 buses on non-nationalized routes along with a few interstate routes in Uttarakhand and the neighboring state of UP. 
For traveling locally, the state, like most of the country, has auto rickshaws and cycle rickshaws. In addition, remote towns and villages in the hills are connected to important road junctions and bus routes by a vast network of crowded share jeeps. The air transport network in the state is gradually improving. Jolly Grant Airport in Dehradun, is the busiest airport in the state with six daily flights to Delhi Airport. Pantnagar Airport, located in Pantnagar of the Kumaran region have one daily air service to Delhi and return to. Their government is planning to develop Naini Saini Airport in Pithoragar, Barkot Airport in Chinyalisaw in Uttakashi District and Gosha Airport in Gosha, Shamali District. There are plans to launch helipad service in Pantnaga and Jolly Grant airports and other important tourist destinations like Gangaria and Hemkun Sahib. As over 86% of Uttarakhand's terrain consists of hills, railway services are very limited in the state and are largely confined to the plains. In 2011, the total length of railway tracks was about 345 km. Rail, being the cheapest mode of transport, is most popular. The most important railway station in Kumaon Division of Uttarakhand is at Kathgodam, 35 km away from Nainital. Kathgodam is the last terminus of the broad gauge line of northeast railways that connects Nainital with Delhi, Dehradun, and Howrah. Other notable railway stations are at Pantnagar, Lalkuan, and Haldwani. Dehradun Railway Station is a railhead of the Northern Railways. Haridwar Station is situated on the Delhi Dehradun and Howrah Dehradun Railway lines. One of the main railheads of the Northern Railways, Haridwar Junction Railway Station is connected by broad gauge line. Rorki comes under Northern Railway region of Indian Railways on the main Punjab, Mughal Sarai trunk route and is connected to major Indian cities. Other railheads are Rishikesh, Kotwa and Ramnagar linked to Delhi by daily trains. Topic. Tourism Uttarakhand has many tourist spots due to its location in the Himalayas. There are many ancient temples, forest reserves, national parks, hill stations, and mountain peaks that draw large number of tourists. There are 44 nationally protected monuments in the state. Oak Grove School in the state is on the tentative list for World Heritage Sites. Two of the most holy rivers in Hinduism the Ganges and Yamuna, originate in Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand has long been called, Land of the Gods as the state has some of the holiest Hindu shrines, and for more than a thousand years, pilgrims have been visiting the region in the hopes of salvation and purification from sin. Gangorti and Yamunotri, the sources of the Ganges and Yamuna, dedicated to Ganga and Yamuna respectively, fall in the upper reaches of the state and together with Badrinath dedicated to Vishnu and Kadarnath dedicated to Shiva form the Chota Cha Dham, one of Hinduism's most spiritual and auspicious pilgrimage circuits. Haridwar, meaning, gateway to the god, is a prime Hindu destination. Haridwar hosts the Haridwar Kumbh Mela every 12 years, in which millions of pilgrims take part from all parts of India and the world. Rishikesh near Haridwar is known as the preeminent yoga center of India. The state has an abundance of temples and shrines, many dedicated to local deities or manifestations of Shiva and Durga, references to many of which can be found in Hindu scriptures and legends. Uttarakhand is, however, a place of pilgrimage for the adherents of other religions too. Piran Kalyar Sharif near Rorki is a pilgrimage site to Muslims, Gurudwara Hemkund Sahib in Hemkund, Gurudwara Nanakmata Sahib in Nanakmata and Gurudwara Ritha Sahib in Champawat district are pilgrimage centers for Sikhs. Tibetan Buddhism has also made its presence with the reconstruction of Mandroling Monastery and its Buddha Stupa, described as the world's highest at Clement Town, Dehradun, Orly, and Munsiri, are well known skiing resorts in the state. The state has 12 national parks and wildlife sanctuaries, which cover 13.8% of the total area of the state. 
They are located at different altitudes varying from 800 to 5,400 meters. The oldest national park on the Indian subcontinent, Jim Corbett National Park, is a major tourist attraction. Vasudhara Falls, near Badrinath, is a waterfall with a height of 122 meters (400 feet), set in a backdrop of snow-clad mountains. The state has always been a destination for mountaineering, hiking, and rock climbing in India. A recent development in adventure tourism in the region has been whitewater rafting in Rishikesh. Due to its proximity to the Himalaya ranges, the place is full of hills and mountains and is suitable for trekking, climbing, skiing, camping, rock climbing, and paragliding. Rupkund is a trekking site, known for the mysterious skeletons found in a lake, which was featured by National Geographic Channel in a documentary. The trek to Rootkun passes through the meadows of Bugal. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Education. On the 30th of September 2010, there were 15,331 primary schools with 1,040,139 students and 22,118 working teachers. At the 2011 census the literacy rate of the state was 78.81% with 87.4% literacy for males and 70% literacy for females. The language of instruction in the schools is either English or Hindi. There are mainly government-run, private unaided, no government help, and private aided schools in the state. The main school affiliations are CBSE, CISCE or UBSE, the state syllabus defined by the Department of Education of the Government of Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand is also home to a number of universities and degree colleges. Dehradun is known as school capital of India. Topic: Sports. The high mountains and rivers of Uttarakhand attract many tourists and adventure seekers. It is also a favorite destination for adventure sports, such as paragliding, skydiving, rafting and bungee jumping. More recently, golf has also become popular with Ranikhet being a favorite destination. The Cricket Association of Uttarakhand is the governing body for cricket activities. The Uttarakhand cricket team represents Uttarakhand in Ranji Trophy, BJ Hazare Trophy and Syed Mushtaq Ali Trophy. The Uttarakhand State Football Association is the governing body for association football. The Uttarakhand football team represents Uttarakhand in the Santosh Trophy and other leagues. Topic. See also. Outline of Uttarakhand